We are back in the Josh and Cole hole. Cole, Woo! it's good to be back. Great to COVID-19. be back. COVID-19. <laughs> On today's show, in honor of the shit show that was last night in the presidential debate, we disclose our top five presidents. Oh, no. We look back at the draft and full of smashing it again. The pack of bears are 3-0. Oh. Nick Foles to the rescue, and Aaron Rodgers never once called his family during the lockdown. He's back. In to the hole we go. Ooh. <laughs> Dan? Dan, how are you? Pixelated as hell. How are you? I'm doing all right. I mean, I don't understand why it's the uh, Cole and Josh hole, because <laughs> I'm on it every time. <laughs> Well, you're just you in know, our hole, pal. We can barely see you. Yeah, there oh, you go. Shit. Oh, no. There we, here it is. Welcome. So, some of us have gotten the funds from the past podcasts and turned that into a great internet connection. And That's true. Dan is podcasting from his phone. Um, hey, his I got office. a great internet connection. You guys are crazy. <laughs> How how are you oh, feeling? Oh, I just need to turn the Wi-Fi on. This is this is week one of podcasting, yet week three of, of football, <laughs> yeah. going into week four of football, and Dan is gone. In true typical fashion, yeah. Yes. Technical difficulties right off the bat. It's been a while since we podcasted. Mm-hmm. It has uh, been a new year. Oh, he's back. Fantastic. No fans in the stands? COVID? COVID, bro. COVID. Uh, Cole, you were going to ask Dan something. Yeah. Hey, Dan. So, What's up? I'm here. I feel like one of the reasons why we have uh, delayed this recording to where it's, <laughs> God damn it, to where it's been is uh, you've been a little busy. <laughs> For selfish reasons. Yeah. Where, what you been, what you been up to? I'm always busy. What you been up to, guy? What's going on in your life? Oh, I've been fl- flying in the pandemic, you know? Oh, you flew? What's I decided I... Uh, yeah, yeah I flew to Minneapolis. Okay. okay. From... Yeah, I had uh, 550 ducats from American Airlines for a flight that got canceled in April. How long is a drive uh, so... to Minneapolis compared to a, a flight where you have to Dude, sit in the airport? Like eight hours versus one hour. Okay. Okay. I concur. So I, I flew first class uh, to seriously Minneapolis. Yeah. Well, I, I was golfing, so I was gonna have to check two bags, <laughs> and uh, you, you, you get two bags <laughs> of first class. You know what I mean? Did you get a mimosa? I, I'm Why am I moving? <laughs> uh, we're not. I got a couple sure. mimosas. Did you really? Yeah. It was. It was. It was one of those flights where it's it's one row. It's a row of one uh-huh. and a row of two. Uh huh. Did you ask? The for... flight was completely booked, and I was sitting alone. How many blankets did they give you? Uh, no blankets. So they didn't did mention your, blankets. Did your clubs ride shotgun with you on the flight, or no? Yeah. No, they were stowed as um, we... oversized baggage. Okay. We never actually got to why you're headed to Minneapolis. You went golfing, apparently. I went golfing for like yeah, thirty-six holes. No, seventy-two holes. That's that's double the holes. Once yeah, I initially, played four rounds over three estimated. days. Okay. There's only one hole here, but uh, Dan was dipping in and out of of four rounds of golf. I guess right, seventy-two. Yeah, I uh, I got forty uh, sixes on two nines, so I was feeling pretty good. Okay. Right. Perfect. Cool. But you said it, you. I wouldn't say it's perfect. But are you on a? Oh, it was good. Are you on a swivel? What is happening? He's on. Yeah, he's on you like. You know a, what I'm on. He's on a full tilt range, like uh, wall mount motion for you his phone. You got a gimbal. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a high tech gimbal. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of it and show you what it is. Okay. Every, well, every so... it's uh it's pretty good. Yeah. Every so often, it lasts of the Mohicans. Like, oh, I got hands. two cameras. The pans. Hold on, I can do this. Oh, I heard Sweet Girl. Oh, yeah, Sweet Girl's shit. a little upset. We're by, uh, we're by the dog park now. <laughs> Dan, fill us in. Let's go through a quick COVID breakdown. Changes in our lives. Dan, you have since changed apartments three times. 
you still have the uh, same shitty internet, but <laughs> you've moved up a little. No, that's not true. It is true. Cole, you've had a child. Josh. I have had a child during a pandemic. Actually, yeah. right, he, we, we, we squeaked him in right at Dan's Frozen. The, viewer, the viewers will judge at home. They'll we, watch this. And... We, we, we squeaked him out right before, uh, right before, you know, the world kind of ended here. So, uh, well, I didn't, you know, Meredith helped out. Um, and yeah, she, she pushed him out of the mirror hole. So, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so actually the first, the, <laughs> <laughs> and it's on oh it was frozen on your crotch yeah, for a minute there it's just, it's just rainbow rainbow dick that's all we get <laughs> we'll um, take this offline yeah that's so, what they call it yeah so actually the first two cases of covid in the whole state of illinois like weeks before like mere weeks i think it was like just two weeks they got in um the same hospital we had him at so oh mercy yeah so a little bit of a concern there especially you know we know a lot more obviously about the virus now um you know i feel like back in the day back in january right where no one knew shit like it was really freaky and um large hospital though so we you know separate buildings weren't super concerned but yeah they actually got discharged right before like like a I'm week, sure. Well, like a week before we had them, so I'm sure it was stressful. But it sounds yeah. like my neighbor had a child um, in April, uh-huh. uh, and it sounded like they were. I mean, uh, of all places, you'd think it would be uh, pretty safe, right? Yeah. Uh, you know. So Daniel had a flight canceled in April. I'm sitting on a bunch of vouchers because we flew in Wednesday night to Arizona, mm-hmm. and then uh, the next day. In the morning, they canceled the NBA season, yep. and then a few hours later, we we had planned this spring training baseball trip, uh, just about a year in advance. And then, uh, like a few hours after they canceled the NBA season, uh, baseball was canceled, and I was we were with my wife and uh, my brother, and, brother and sister in law, and uh, their little newborn. Mm. My brother-in-law saw Joe Madden at a coffee shop okay. uh, that mm-hmm. morning. Yeah. Great story. Yep. Yep. And then um, next thing I know, I'm like, let's get <laughs> out of here. I don't want to be stuck. I thought, you know, the airports would shut down. I mean, it was that was like the that was the seal of COVID when it all kind of snapped. And then, you know, mm-hmm. we flew out there um, and it still wasn't necessarily a thing. And then, you know, we thought... Uh, that it would all be done by Easter. And so on our way back home, we took advantage of the panic and booked flights to Hawaii and all the the flights that were dropping. Sure. Um, and we're going to do two weeks uh, in Hawaii for our honeymoon, finally, cool. and then f- fly to Seattle and then back to Chicago. I mean, we got that shit for uh, three, four, five hundred dollars total. And now I'm sitting on vouchers that aren't worth going back there. That's that's the real pisser. So I guess I'm flying first class to Minneapolis. <laughs> Dude, it's a great flight. I bet you, you just, like Buzz Lightyear in uh, Toy Story, you just sat down, like buckled up, and you just kind of patted the seatbelt. And uh, when yep. Buzz Off gets into the, into the front of the pizza truck, yep. Rolando could tell I was interested in a couple of cocktails too. So yeah, he was, uh, he was I'm assuming that was your uh, in-flight attendant. Yeah, it was a flight steward. Okay. Oh, no. Dan, um, what did you do to your internet? Because now you're crystal clear. You what might, do you mean? You might be better than Josh at this point. Oh, I moved uh, three three Burn. rooms closer to the modem. Sorry, Josh. Okay, cool. That, three that, rooms closer to the router. Sorry, okay. the wireless he, access point. Yeah, no, I he's uh, no, he's just the, fine, finally the device unlocked. that emits the Wi-Fi okay. radiation. We can, we can move on. We can the, move the, on. Yeah. Finally, unlock the Google uh, lens. Here we are. All right. Hey, uh, the internet in Chicago is better than it is in Oak Park. Is that because the fiber, the Google fiber, is out there? I think it's because of the 
because of the way that it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Like Cole said, yeah. let's move on. The draft. Yes. Let's unpack. Yes. Cole, we're heading into week four, right? We are. And As we're, you just can... getting, we're just getting to the draft. We, yeah. I mean. Can you still see my face? Nope. All right. Well, I'm pulling up my draft, so. Okay, good. Maybe I can do this that's on a different beauty, computer. That's the beauty of doing huh? it on your phone. Um, that's true. Mercy. So. No, it's, it's not the beauty of it. His picture went away. And now he's upset. I'm here. Can you see me? <laughs> All right. Just go back to the rainbow dick, Never, Dan. Never invited again. You're up. <laughs> yeah, You're yeah up. we're. <laughs> I'm texting Rhoda as we speak. This was a trial run. John Rose been wanting to get on the show for years. No, I just have to, to flip it. John, will do man. it. Are you going on? Okay. All right. I, I see all those beautiful monitors behind you that you could be utilizing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I those know monitors that. don't have any webcams. Nah, let me just podcast from my fucking Google Pixel. I'm going to Amazon you. A nice, nice little webcam there. Um, I got a great camera. Let me find it. Do you think no, that'll work? No, Can you plug in like a DSLR to this we're, thing? Uh, we're podcasting, Dan. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, How do you like the auction format? Two years in. Yeah, okay. Are you a fan? Are you a fan? Cole, did you send the, gr- the snake of the group text because you I, wanted to go back to snake? So or? my biggest like hurdle with the auction draft is just – so the, the first year we did it, I feel like it was just too long. I feel like the the time limits we set were just it wasn't it wasn't speedy enough. Plus the Bears and Packers game was going on in the background, which was super distracting. So probably that was a bad uh, bad deterrent be- as well. I believe we had like six meatheads at my place with Eilers. Yes. Le- yeah. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of interruptions. A lot yeah. of interruptions. So that a lot was of stoppages. But... And then Jerome sabotaged the internet. Son of a bitch. But this yeah. year went. I think it went a lot more smoothly. Like, you know, we yeah. had a, we had only a couple stoppages. The timer, I think, didn't you set it like less in the later rounds or something like that? I think that helped. A I lot. did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. So I, I I enjoyed a lot more this year for sure. Speeds it up, and uh, after a while, it's like you know you really just fill yeah. in the last couple bench spots. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be tough if the league has been a snake auction dra- uh snake draft. Uh, and then going into an auction, there was real hesitance from a lot of guys that have never done it before. But I, I truly feel, especially in fantasy football, auction is the way to go. And it's it's um, it's a lot of fun w- when you can dictate your roster mm-hmm. and have more of a say in it rather than uh, leaving it to chance. And yeah, you know, it's I mean, a- I. It's easy to uh, prep for a, a, a snake draft and knowing what pick you have, but there's a lot more excitement when you can have a crack at anybody, you know? There is a lot more strategy involved in it, for sure. I mean, you definitely um, – it, there's a lot more volatility, too, because you never know who's mm-hmm. going to be putting a lot more money in on a certain player that you under – you know under or overvalued like in your own head right and yeah um i feel like it always seems to be um you know some of those the initial players always go for higher than whatever all the projections are and it kind of sets the stage for the rest of the of the evening and the rest of the draft so totally uh, no I, I it's a fun dynamic um plus you can get into you know fun situations like uh like John Rowe with nine players left and nine dollars, stuff like that, you know. Great point, Cole. I was gonna say, the best part is like, in a in a uh, a draft, you know, it's a slow bleed to somebody messing up their team, right? Sure. You know, you can kind of miss on your first rounder and second rounder. By the fourth rounder, you're like, what are you doing? Did, sure. did you mock it all? But. <laughs> to your point, I didn't mock at all, you guys. I never have, and I never will. <laughs> but to your point, I feel Cole, like I've got a sweet ass team, though. What's your record you right now, Dan? Uh, one and two. Okay. Uh, it's yeah, that's fun. just because Devonte is—he's uh, got a little. Got I thought that was a great pick at the time. 
But is he banged up a little bit? He's got a hammy. He's got a Q next to his name right now. A hammy. Okay. But it's just funny that, uh, you know, when somebody spends. But he plays on Monday. Three quarters till Monday. Of their, three quarters of their budget, and then they're just sitting there with a dollar to spend on a roster. Or, yeah. you know, somebody that burns, that pays, overpays for two studs and is just sitting there. It's. Uh, you overpay what... for studs and you underpay for sleepers. That's how auctions work. So who Spot Welcome to pap- capitalism, my friend. Who was... I paid seventy dollars for Miles Sanders. Holy God! Let's break down some of these uh, picks to click. Who did you guys want the most? Where do you in see that, that auction? You can go to league and draft recap, Daniel. Okay. Did you guys come away with like the number one player that you wanted, or did you? Oh no! Your... Of course. What was not. your approach? No. I wanted Saquon all the way. Oh man! Good call. Good call. I was, yeah, I was high on uh, Saquon for oh, sure. Oh God, what? That guy. That's right. What a travesty, right? It is a huge. Travesty. My number one and my number two are injured for multiple weeks. Devonte and Godwin. Really? Yeah. Okay. I had DJ Moore on a few other teams. Okay. Cole, let's get down in your hole. I love I love Josh Jacobs. Is he yeah. living up to his hype? Well, he had a good good week one. Last two weeks, not as much. So we'll see. I, you know, like Can you, you got to take into consideration the PPR format too. And I don't I feel like I oh, don't definitely. always draft to does that not, format. Does Jacobs not catch a lot of balls in the? Uh, I mean, let's. Week so week one we had thirty five points. We're doing great. Feeling like feeling week one like, was a banner week for everybody. I feel like feeling feeling pretty good after week one. In the last two weeks we had a thirteen and a nine. So, um, Kenyon Drake is another guy that yeah. has uh, underperformed not, at this point. Yeah, I've got I've got him in um, a few leagues actually. Yeah, and I, uh, I thought. I mean, Kyler Murray, Murray's rolling, right? Um, he is. Yeah, that offense is uh, is much more improved with uh, with Hopkins um, in general, and just to him being in his second year, I think he's more and more comfortable, right? So, um, and Edmonds on the you know running back side takes some of the snaps away. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it's a bounce back week for for Kenya. He uh, he had a. He was like the one of the darlings last year that really picked it up like mid season. So totally. I was riding high on him going to the draft and hasn't panned out thus far. I did pick up Davis as well on the Panthers. Um Michael. Yeah. Yeah, who's who's stepping in while McCaffrey's out. So I didn't play him last week. I probably should have. He he did pretty decent. He got a twenty three last week, so hopefully I feel like that's always the way though. Like I was on the edge about playing him, not playing him. I decided to bench him for a week. And then, of course, he did pretty well. I'm going to play him this week. And, you know, with my luck, who knows. But we'll uh, we'll go from there. But, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of, as far as, like, the draft goes, the strategy goes, I just kind of play to, to like, what's happening, right? I mean, you kind of yeah. roll with it. You have a few guys nope. in mind, but. you could, Yeah, you can go on a strategy, but auction it really gets tossed out the window the minute like uh, somebody throws a wrench in or somebody goes i mean i'm looking at some of these prices like you know mm. i paid 70 for miles but i feel a lot better 70 on miles than 101 on christian mccaffrey sorry greg um you know uh some of the top studs michael thomas 99 he's yep. hurt you know saquon was 99 um well i I think that's, uh, in general, an interesting dynamic with this year, too. There just have been a lot of injuries early, I think even a lot more than previous years. And, mm-hmm. like, I heard people talking about, like, is it the fact that there was no preseason or, you know, there's really not a lot of contact um, yeah. during training camp and things like that. Especially so, with the type of injuries you've seen. Sure. Devastating, several right? Hamstrings not, and, um... and several just full-blown ACLs. Yep. So. Yeah, I, I mean, think about it. They've been laid off, and it's funky. You know, I didn't think we'd be talking about it like this, right? Like, I mean, the whole push was less preseason, 
um, you know, uh, and then COVID came. And so there was no preseason, but it's almost like a, you know, uh, like a rubber band. You kind of got to take some hits to kind of get used to it. And um, half the time they're probably flinching because they're not in full contact. Sure. Did you guys watch Hard Knocks at all? So I watched some of it. I uh, I didn't. I think that show about the prison. Last... <laughs> <laughs> yes, whatever whatever you think it is. Yes. Um... <laughs> uh, Dan Hesse, everybody. Uh, Dan, have you ever been scared straight? Yes. Okay. Yes, um... I have. <laughs> So I started watching it. I don't like where was the you tell me like was there a lot of compelling storylines because I didn't gather that from like the first few weeks. There were none. Um, I think the main focus was the COVID and then um, a couple couple episodes in you had uh, the George Floyd and and Black Lives Matter Mm -hmm. episode. And so, um, I mean, you know, it's it was funky, but typically I think. And I don't know if this was because they didn't have a lot of more, uh, a lot of uh, in-depth access, but you know they tend to focus on like four or five rookies that are sure. trying to make the squad. Or, get cut. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, this guy's definitely cut. <laughs> and then the, you know they'll focus on like the top stud, yeah, draft pick, and yeah. and, and, a, and a veteran that's entertaining. But, sure. Uh, um. You know, I mean, while the issues that were presented were important, it just, yeah. uh, it, I think we chatted about this earlier, Cole. It just didn't hit as yeah. much, you know? It's it's hard to, like, I mean, um, I'm thinking, like, last season with the Raiders, like, you had all that Antonio Brown drama like that. Uh-huh. Like, how do you how do you follow that up? Like, I mean, COVID, yeah, okay, but literally everyone. Knock gets, if you're with me, Yeah, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, you have Gruden, you have the disaster that is Antonio Brown, like the whole like cryogenic foot f- free. You remember when he like burned his foot and shit like that. And then he, yeah. and what a, what man, that guy used to be one of my favorite players, I, fancy darlings. I mean, well, he used to not run his mouth and then I don't know what happened, but he's gotten, I mean, yeah, that was, he's out of it's the league, fun. obviously, but it sounds, uh, you know, counterproductive, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. Drunk on that cheddar. <laughs> watching somebody lose their mind you know i mean yes. that guy that guy, that guy went off the rails he did you know uh yeah he, to dan's point he got drunk on the cheddar he did <laughs> yeah but I, I, you know those those sh- the show really it, it, i mean it's it, it hits it hits a lot more when you got a compelling storyline like that and you know covid is is compelling but the NFL obviously is taking it seriously and you know everyone is just you know okay we'll, we'll show footage of doing the testing and all that stuff that's great and that's good but i mean it it's not that it i don't know there there's there, there's not that that forced drama like you usually see plus I think when I watch those shows, I want like an escape from reality. And I think everyone is living in this crazy world right now where this is everyone's reality. So that doesn't, sure. it doesn't yeah. really kind of hit you as an, as an escape point. You're just might, more so reminded of kind of the shit that we're all dealing with during this weird time. So fantastic point podcast partner. Yeah. Uh, why do, why do I want to watch the NFL teams dealing with the COVID? Yeah. Wow, Cole just Cole just blew my mind. Dan, uh, how are the Brewers doing? Uh, the Brewers start in fifty-one minutes. They're playing oh, in Los Angeles. Oh, it is. Oh, it is nine oh eight. That's a late game. Uh, oh, they're yeah. playing the they're playing the Dodgers. You staying up there? The Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah. You staying up? <laughs> Hell yeah. Brewers made it with a wor- t- they're officially tied for the worst playoff record of all time, the worst what regular percentage? season playoff winner, like point four eight three, I believe. Oof. Wow, that's um, not, that's not even uh, that's not even fifty percent there, Dan. Dan, no, I it's a, less than that. I did a little uh, MLB uh, playoff bracket bracket pool. Um, uh huh. You had the Brewers taking it, didn't you? 
You know they're hot right now. <laughs> no, I knew better than that, but I didn't expect the Cubs to lose today. I don't want to talk about it. Um, oh, no. I should probably take a look at that, shouldn't the so- I? The Sox lost as well, but I don't think either of you really care about that. Well, I was interested I in the first hat. game. What was the score? What was the uh, score today? They lost five zero to zero. Three. Still, God damn it, damn. Five to three. They got uh, Keuchel did not come. Oh, Keuchel went game two. Yeah, and and yeah. he came out flat. They they lit him up the last, first. Uh, I think they had five by the fourth. Um, well, I picked. I picked the Sox to beat the A's because uh, well, they, the A's are just not hitting, and uh, their start their starters are hit or miss. You know they were hitting today. Um, so uh, the game three, which is the deciding game, and I, I hate a, I hate a best of three, but I, I get it with the expanded playoffs what they're doing. But like you have teams like the Twins, right? Like a good team that's knocked out today. Like that may have made a comeback in in a longer series or something like that. But wait, the twins are out already. They're out. They got they, they lost, got knocked out. They lost the first. Oh man, the Astros. They're gone. I was golfing with a bunch of twins fans, well, so I'm gonna have to do some chirping right now. Yeah, they're out. Um, Good roast. And you know, they're squeezing in all these games too, and they're at really awkward times. Like for Dan, Milwaukee guy, mm-hmm. starting at nine o'clock. Sox fan here starts at two o'clock, middle of the day. Um, you know. What else have you got going on? I, you know, just. I was I was at work. That's what I thought. The the Cubs were on it too. I had to I had to change it from uh, flip this house to uh, you know nice. Cubs game. Nice. And um, it uh, I I was head down in work trying to finish some stuff up. And I yeah. walk in, the, I look, and it's like. Five to one. I'm like, oh my god! Like it's the Marlins. I mean, the Marlins are a weird. I mean, how many of their actual starters started the year? So, at they. This point? Uh, Can you see this bruise on my cheek? Yeah, what's it from? You can't see it. No, I can't. I'm just pushing the narrative. <laughs> okay, I got I got uh, hit in the face with a golf ball. You, you mean? Did. You mean like somebody yelled four and you got struck in the face? No, like I was uh, putting and they chipped into my cheek. Who did? Your meathead friends? Luke. Yeah. I wouldn't really call him a Luke, uh, a meathead, though. He's more of a litigator. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Dan. That sounds like it's kind of your fault, though. Did you have a good time? or? Yeah, I mean, were, oh, you, playing, time. were you playing ready golf? That was one of my 46s. Yeah. You know me. I always play ready golf. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I played with uh, Christy's parents and my wife, Christy, uh, last Sunday, and I uh, I uh, striped uh, uh, basically what I did with the uh, Dan Hesse Cole uh, and I played golf a couple weeks ago. Did you? And I had uh, you guys same kind of shot. Life. Same kind of shot, Daniel. Like, a lot of golf. Two- 200 yards, striked it over water onto a green like six feet away. We were playing a scramble. It was me and Christy's mother against her father and Christy. And uh, she gave me a big high five. Nice. It was a uh, shot of the afternoon. Nice. Congratulations. Who's your really ending? at a moment. Yeah, we were like, all right, Cartner, go ninja, That's go nice. ninja, go. Who's your MVP on your squad so far? Hmm. My, mine's kind of a cheap answer because he had one big game. But let's see, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, okay. My I, guys, I got him for seven dollars. Holy crap! Josh Allen for sure. You have Josh Allen, Cole. I, I do. Oh man, I wanted Josh Allen, and I just on every you paid team. six dollars for Josh Allen. Wow, Oof. what a steal! Yeah, he's been he's been great. I mean. He He's got good. a pretty good average too, thirty-one point three. Cole, what's your not record? Three and zero, undefeated. You're not three and zero. I am. You know who else is three and zero? You are. Me. <laughs> what are you? Dude, I am the best one and two on this goddamn <laughs> league. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin has a pretty decent one and two team. 
he's gotten screwed. I don't know if you've been following his scores, but he's been putting up big numbers. Yeah, and so does John Rowe. Yeah, as usual, our 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 uh, you know perennial juggernauts are there. They are, they are. Yeah, um, I'm. How three... scored him, City? Uh, who's that? That's Eilers. That's Eilers. That's Eilers. Uh, he's, he's he's doing great. Oh and three. I don't think he's oh, changed. I don't, so good. I don't think he's changed his lineup. So I've I actually have. Uh, I just looked at the three and O's. I'm pretty sure I'm the uh, of the three and O's. I have. Uh, oh, take that back, Cole. Uh, your team's a mirage. You have the lowest of the points against. So you've faced a cupcake schedule. <laughs> Hey, look at look at Greg's points against. It's lower than mine. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And so, he hasn't really scored many points. And the you only t- you only got me by twenty points. So what are you talking about here? Um, oh wow, there about. are some big points for Cool, I've there. also put John up John Rose like, got the most. I've also put up like forty more points than Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing great. I'm very proud of you. I look at it and I have no idea because Dak Prescott was one of my picks to click. I yeah. thought the Cowboys were going to put up points. Yeah. Uh, Ty Lockett like wanted him, but like kind of fell into him. Yeah. Uh, Miles Sanders missed Week One. I think he's going to start picking it up because yep. uh, Wentz is kind of uh, struggling. So I think they can only. I mean, they spent a draft pick. I drafted Miles Sanders in every league last year, and he just. It wasn't until the last four to five weeks that he started coming on. Other than that, my team's a bag of dicks. I have no bench. <laughs> I so my my problem right now is I think I have a pretty deep squad. I I, I did not play my bench well last week at all. I did not play, and I don't know if anyone would have played. I picked up Justin Jefferson just for the shit of it, and you know he had a fantastic week he had 30.5 seven receptions 175 yards one touchdown his first touchdown in the league i he could be a flyer from time to time i just don't know when to plop him in and then i got debu samuel who just uh who just debu. Came, yeah debu debo 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 he just came off of uh ir he's cleared to play now so See what All happens right. there. Let's let's make a trade. I need a wide receiver. Okay. Shit I got bake, Raheem baby. Mostert as well, who was hurt last week. That um, was your that was your uh most that was your player darling in the draft. In the draft. Yeah, that hurt. was your darling. Yeah, he's yeah. he's he's he hasn't had that many touches, but when he touches the ball Special things happen. He's going. So yeah, we could talk trade. I'd be happy to. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at your squad. It looks great. I mean, you got the DK, Stefan Dix, and the Josh Allen combo. You wanted that too. I was just priced out of Josh Allen. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's go to the lightning round. Top five. Top five. Top five. Presidents. Cole, I'd like you to give me your number number one uh, top president. Oh, God. I feel like I should have give, been given time to prepare for this. I'm just gonna I text no way. Uh-huh. I off, text, the, off the cup. Dan's already Googling how to pronounce ones. Um, <laughs> I, Cole, I texted you like 14 minutes no, before the cast. Oh, well, I was I was producing. I'm a producer. Um, let's go with let's go with um, Honest Abe. Glad I didn't put Which him. One? I thought it'd be picked up. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lincoln, sixteen president. Not even Abe. picking one. That's not even picking a Rushmore. He's in Rushmore. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, weirdo. <laughs> All right, Dan, what's yours? Uh, Woodrow Wilson. I knew you. <laughs> Damn it! The fucking wax lips nemesis shows up again. Woodrow Wilson. He's actually a terrible president. He did introduce the uh, United Nations, but uh, I believe surrounded by, uh, oh my you know, controversy. Mine is Thomas I know, that's Jefferson. why he could never shine. That's why he could never shine. Yours is Thomas Jefferson. He's, uh, 
Yeah, Monticello and the Declaration of Independence. And uh, he, along with John Adams, both died on July 4th. I mean, how much of a big dick move is that? I think somebody just amended the records for that. Nobody like like Bill Butch. Yeah, they amended the Jedi records, Daniel. Like a true American and Bill Butcher, he dies a true American. Sure. All right, number two, Cole. Oh, what about Kennedy? He got us to the moon. That's pretty cool. Which Kennedy? Come on, Dan. We landed on the moon. We landed on the moon. Yeah, he was. A good, he was dead uh, by that point. You guys know that, right? He, he was. You're right. But he st- he, he he was he was the one that he set forth. Dan started the mission. Set forth. An American he was on assassinated. The Dan, have some respect. Yeah, way before it ever happened. So that's I wouldn't a, say that's his fault. Have some goddamn Back respect. And to the left. I don't know. I I yeah. We'll go with him. He he. Back into the left. He wanted us to go to the moon. God damn it, we did it. Let alone pioneered civil rights movement. This is really showing my shortfalls here. Of yeah, you guys don't know. You you don't know dick about U.S. history. Dan, what's number two for you, pal? Uh, um, James K. Polk. (laughs) He was underrated. (laughs) He was uh, actually of an nineteenth century. Dan, Top dogs, on, I believe. On, are you on Wikipedia? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he is. I'm, I'm, I'm Googling is... Kennedy right now, but it's some Brazilian soccer player. Are you player. on whitehouse.gov? No, I'm nope. on whitehouse.com. Oh. I went there earlier. <laughs> Dot com. Number, number yeah. two for me is uh, Harry S. Truman. He inherited greatness. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, just like the Packers on the one, all he had to do was give uh-huh. it, stick it to the Cooner. He Killed a had, lot of civilians. Yeah, he just had a to lot of the, civilians. drop the A-bomb and then, uh, you know, punch it into the end zone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who do you got? That was it me? Number three. Oh, call. shit. Um, oh, God. I don't know. Oh, what about what about Teddy? Teddy Roosevelt. Ah, uh, I had him at three two. What about Teddy? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, great in uh, great in Night at the Museum. Oh, I was thinking Newsies, but yeah, same thing, same thing. No, that was uh, um, Robin Williams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Teddy Roosevelt, big for me. National parks. Yeah, pretty national sure, parks. Sure. Pretty sure. The only president that could kill a grizzly bear. Yeah. Uh, you know, enough said, right? What, 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 Thought it was a bull moose. What what group was he a part of? He was part of some. Rough Riders. Rough Riders. Bull Moose Party. The Rough Riders, yeah. Bull Moose Party. The, but, the, the Bull Moose Party. Dan's actually accurate. He's just... <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, trying to read his uh, uh, biography. Uh, okay. It's like a... It, it talks, uh, this guy won the Pulitzer for one of them, but it's like, uh, he wrote three of them. It's basically like, uh, um, his early years in presidency and then his, uh, national park and conservation thing. And then like his, his, uh, his like childhood rough riders and rise to politician. There you have it. The bull. Is he a child soldier? The, the motherfucking bull moose party. Dan, what are you doing? He's researching. I'm trying to pick my number one. It's your number three. All right. Okay. I'm going with FDR. He's my number one. Okay. Good pick. Good pick. The New Deal, the Tennessee Valley Authority, drove us through a depression, not only a depression, a Great Depression. and The uh, grandfather of modern liberalism. <laughs> And beat polio. Great. Wow. Did he? No, I think polio beat him, but he never, yeah. you know, he never let, he he never showed weakness. Yeah, he tried not to. And who can remember John Voigt in Pearl Harbor standing up, you know. Uh, yeah, loved that movie. Loved it. With his little, oh, yeah. little leg braces. All right, hit us with four, Cole. Um... No one has said George Washington. I don't know particular if there's reasons behind that. 
So turns out he can't. Didn't he like tell eat slave Steve for breakfast or no. something? <laughs> I wasn't Jefferson a slave owner as well. Yes, weren't they? Um, I think they were all. Were they all? They all were, but we're not going there. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about what about uh, what about Billy Clinton? I just, read, yeah. I just <laughs> this is this is like an NFL. The program. hostess with the mostess. Uh, what about Billy Clinton? I yeah. Just, All right, know, Cole. What do you got? You just you know it brings back memories of the '90s. I'm thinking America's Funniest Home Videos. I'm thinking of Bulls championships. I'm thinking of a prosperous Super Bowl nation. Thirty One. Super Bowl Thirty One. You know. Do can I name what he did besides from getting a you know? I can. I can. By... How about playing saxophone on Johnny Carson? Great. That was that was Arsenio Hall, Dan. You you you, were, you didn't remember the nineties? Cool, Bill. Uh, uh, Cole, you're taking all my presidents. Well, uh, the nineties, a simpler time. It Nerf was. guns. Nerf America's guns. home home. Uh, funniest home videos. I just said that. Um, and and I was ten. I was ten when I learned. Family that. matters. Did you say Family that one matters, yet? TGIF. Boy meets I world. Was, oh. I was ten when I learned what a blowjob was, and sure. I didn't know that was something that you could do. So I was excited. Um, and and that was the last time I loved basketball, man. The Bulls championships. The nation was booming. The economy was booming. We were at great a time to buy Apple stock. We were at a surplus. Dan Hesse advises buy Apple in '97. <laughs> Marks it as a buy. <laughs> Absolutely. Is it a good? Ah! Is it still a good buy, Dan? Today? Yeah. yeah. No, I think I think they're a little over leveraged what's and it, what's uh, the trading for these days. They're they're. Um, Three something. Their brand is a, is a little overvalued. Okay. Let's oh, see. As he's well, talking just, into well, his it's Google not PayPal. It's PayPal actually, is what you want to do right no, now. No, Zoom, PayPal Zoom is Technologies and Penn National Gaming. Now, it's not no, three Zoom is going to crash. Just, Zoom is way overvalued. Nobody cares about Zoom, and it's not a good technology. They just went through, uh, Apple just went through a stock split, so it's not three something anymore. Oh, yeah. I just looked. It's like 116 or something. APPL, right? AAPL. 116.30. Nope. Number five. Uh, Dan, you're not going to get a number four. Uh, Cole, bring, okay. us home on, uh, bring us home on the five. All right. Well, I got to I gotta go with... I got to go with Barack. And here's why. Man, Which son one? Of a, son of a Which bitch. one? Uh, the Obama. Um, never did I feel like more so that we were moving forward as a progressive nation than when we elected Mr. Barack Obama, not only for an initial term, but for a whole eight years, we, we, we enjoyed a very calm, collected, well-spoken, very intelligent man that, that represented our country. I feel in a very positive way uh and you know track now four years later um never have i felt more and i won't even get that political but that we've taken kind of a step back as far as our aggression as far as where we are as a nation so um yeah i'll go with brock i was gonna put brock but i, I you yeah. uh, know felt uh just like you said, Cole, very united and a great orator and uh, all that. Yep. Uh, Dan, number five. All right, let's see. <laughs> William Henry Harrison. All right, good one. Let's end with that. I, I don't know. That's the fifth, all we need. I don't, need. I don't want no context. <laughs> no, William Henry Harrison. <laughs> Pretty sure he died very early in term. I'm not sure. Mine, aside from Barack. He was uh, 31 days he was the president of the United States. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, That's the right amount of time. William Taft. Yeah. Taft. I was going to say Grover, Grover Cleveland, because I think that's, like, you know, the best presidential name. 
But William Taft was president and then later chief justice of the Supreme Court. That's a big deal. I mean, only got to do it. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but when you're on the Supreme Court, that's for life. I did. I did know that. Judges in general. Um, there was Not another in general. Guy. Uh, uh, most Justices of... in general. Dan, not now. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> there was another dude who, uh, I think it was Grover Cleveland. He was president, another guy served, and then he came back. I think that's pretty accurate. You I think Grover I... Cleveland was the only non consecutive president. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> I got Cole, the producer. You said and Dan, another guy. Dan Hesse and Stats Boy. Um, yeah, non-consecutive, that works. Um, gentlemen, uh, it's been a pleasure. Absolutely. I'm going to go watch the uh, L.A. The Lakers, game. Miami Heat. Dude, basketball ended a month ago. Yeah, be upset that uh, Jimmy Butler is no longer a bull. <laughs> Jimmy oh, Buckets. Oh, the B is for Buckets. Go Brewers. You got that on film, right, Cole? I did. Delete it. Bye-bye. <laughs>